I'm so annoyed right now. If you check the messages above in the chat, I have never been in there. I didn't answer you before because I've never been in Why there. is it so hard for you to just call somebody in the Zoom? Why? I just told you I've never been in that portion of Zoom before. You've never been in the chat. I always do the link in Facebook. Okay, well, that doesn't work. So stop doing that and just go in Zoom and call me because I'm always in Zoom. So if you just call me in Zoom, I will answer. Okay. Instead of sending me a link and waiting for me to see the link and then I have to click the link and then I have to enter and then you have to accept. This is like, just call me in Zoom. I know. I can't believe how inconsiderate I am. Well, I've been asking you to do this for like, honestly, forever. I could see there's there's communication problems. Captain there's there's been multiple times. I could probably find it in the messenger chat where I'm like, call me in Zoom. You're right. I, I will have a hard time living this down. I understand that uh, probably the reason you haven't talked to me in five months is because of such things. Can you next time just call me in the Zoom? And I might answer. You could just call me at any time. And I honestly will probably just answer. Just oh try it. Okay. It's like a, a new thing. I, I, I didn't know. You are the grandfather of Zoom and you're telling me you don't know how to use it. Well, the grandfather of Zoom who found one way to do it and then just repeated it. Yeah, just stick to the same thing that you know. <laughs> <laughs> okay i'm sorry this is probably not a good time for us to chat but at least we figured this out yeah and what are you you're at a party you're in the middle of drinking yeah i'm at a party i'm drinking i don't know it's all right nothing too exciting i did a little bit of k uh. <laughs> yeah i wanted to talk about what you said about that guy that i gave him the blow the death blow to or whatever you called it yeah that i should and how you said that i should be more graceful and try to like handle it like a queen or whatever yeah yeah i thought that was really good advice because i just like to just hammer people when they're being idiots but i could see i see what you mean it's very good advice have you tried anything different since then? <laughs> I just, here, I'm gonna turn up my brightness. Oh wait, are you, okay. Oh my God. Um, well, I don't know how, like in that particular case, like what was I supposed to say to that? Well, just, I mean, the, the rest of the advice was, you know, use reason, don't, don't get triggered and counter them with actual reason like don't don't just use like as soon as you go to name calling no matter what most people watching are not going to respect that doesn't matter if you're right you know it's fine in some degrees but overall if you want to build a, a large group of people that are supporting you i think it's it's good to you know be gracious Show yeah but he started it by telling me i'm a drug addict and then clearly shows that he knows nothing about drugs well he's i mean so what i mean the thing about having composure is that you don't res right. respond to idiots and their stupidity in the way that you lose your cool or you kind of like you know you're you're more they're going to make themselves look more and more like an idiot the 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 cooler you are you're right you're right this is why you're the prophet <laughs> yeah yeah how often am i like that <laughs> but you're in the front lines like i'm just sort of hiding in the back here so you're you're in the front lines and i think a lot of people are watching you and a lot of people get a kick out of how you are and a lot of people respect you for being the way you are but it's kind of like you could have five thousand instagram people kind of liking you and kind of like oh, okay that's plum or you could have a hundred thousand people adoring you because you, you've taken a stand, you're very intelligent with your responses, and you know, you're smart, you're humorous. You, you don't just take the hammer and bash people, and, but they I wait know. for that. They use it at the right time. Like at some point when the person oh. really goes too far in some manner, 
and then bring in the thugs. Like, don't even right. deal and with it yourself. You're right. And they probably won't even expect it because I, I don't use it because I've never haven't used it. In, you know, if I don't use it, then they just don't even expect it. And then I have that in the arsenal as like a final the last blow. blow. Yeah. I mean, the, the thing about a death blow is that you have to wait for your time. And your time is waiting where they make the big mistake or they cross the line or they do something which is just worthy of a death blow. But if you give them the death blow as soon as they walk in the room or as soon as they're in the chat because they bring an idiot, now, now you've just, you're, you're just like someone who's in, at war. But he called me a drug. Okay, so what is this guy, his name or whatever? What are we going to call the guy that we're talking about? Uh, you know what I'm talking about. Let's call... Uh, we should all call him Mr. X. I think Mr. X. <laughs> okay, fine. Mr. X, I think he, he knows who he is. If he's watching this, we're talking about you because you called me a drug addict. But I mean, doesn't he have a bit of a point in terms of compared okay. to most so people? You read the comment. So this guy commented on our Facebook page and basically said, I'm a drug addict and you're a drug addict, by the way. And, um, you know, we all, we both need to repent and, um, I, I don't know, be saved. Well, because we're going down the wrong path. But then he clearly shows that he has no idea about any of these drugs. And so he can't really speak on them because he has no idea what he's talking about. He's just repeating what he's been told, that drugs are bad. Or, or maybe he's tried some of the drugs, but not the ones that we're talking about. You know I, I mean? He's probably tried them all. I, I don't think he's tried. No, he has not tried ketamine. Okay, maybe not that one. You know for sure? Yeah, it didn't seem like it. He has no idea. Yeah, because most people have a high respect for it. <laughs> he's talking about crack and like Coke and stuff. Okay, yeah. I mean, I've never even tried he's call, those. He's calling it like these weird names that are don't even, he, I just feel like he's way so out of touch of what's actually going on, you know? Well, I mean, I think most people are. I mean, what what is going on? I don't know. I mean, he's he's assessing I'm not a life. drug addict. For one, I'm not a drug addict. So that's one thing I'm not. I know, but you have in our episodes, there was one episode where you're naming off about five or 10 drugs in a row that were all sort of, I think maybe, I don't know if you'd done them that night, but over a period of a few weeks, you'd been. Yeah, that's the episode. Fun. That's the episode that he was referring to was when I was like, oh, I did this and I did mushrooms and I did K and I did this. Yeah. Those are all like the most innocent drugs that you could even talk about. Like mushrooms is not even a drug. Yeah. Okay. You're going to call me a drug addict for doing mushrooms? Like, go fuck yourself. Ketamine is like the most spiritual drug. Like, I, and I don't even do it that often. So I, he has no right. He just has no idea what he's talking about. I just hate people that are just, they latch on to these things and then they think they know everything, you know? Hmm. Well, it's it's true. I mean, you're not. I mean, I, I think you're I'm very, uh, you're, you're, you almost always abstain. You might be. <laughs> <laughs> but i don't i don't have an addictive personality i'm not doing a lot of drugs i'm really not what were you gonna say i'm almost what uh i can't remember mm. damn it i cut you off and i wanted to hear it but anyways he's saying i'm a drug addict and i just don't appreciate that at all okay so i mean a you could answer that by you know, ask him some questions, you know, what gave you that impression? Was it, and then he says, oh, the video, blah, blah. And you go, well, that was one video. And yes, for one week, I had those drugs. Uh, I've had other weeks where I have nothing. I have a, other weeks or months where, you know, I have a couple of drinks or I'm drunk all the time, but I'm a part of like it. I find it insulting, like not only to me, but also to the drugs. Ah. <laughs> yeah. Like I think mushrooms and ketamine deserve a lot more respect than that. This is not crack cocaine, you know? We're not shooting up heroin. Mm. I, I just feel like he's got no, he doesn't know anything about these drugs. He's, well, I, think, I think his, his experience with drugs, I think 
he is, it's, I'm a reflection. I feel like he's seeing his own shit and he's reflecting it onto me and calling me that when it's actually him that has those issues. So you know? he's, he's the drug addict. Yeah. And he admitted it, that to me in the, in the chat, if you read through it, he was like, I've been there and I've done like this or whatever. And talking about crack and shit or whatever it was that he was talking about going on binges and stuff. But these drugs are not like that. You know, you don't go on a mushroom binge, you know? Some people like, even do, but it's, uh, no, you just have a... I think it's insulting to the drugs. I think ketamine is very spiritual and mushrooms are very spiritual. But at the end of the day, like, I'm not, I'm not a drug addict. And I, I just, I hate when people try to come and tell me how to live my life when they don't know anything about it. Yeah. yeah but you're you... right. So how do I handle that more graciously? Because <laughs> then I well, just hammered him. I just hammered him. And I love doing that, you know, I love hammering people, but I shouldn't do that, right? Well, I mean, again, it's kind of like right timing. I mean, if you're, if you want to create allies or, or switch people, some people are but on this the guy, you've had issues with this guy. Is this guy ever going to be an ally? I, I mean, he was an ally once. And usually if I think that we are an ally once, there's something real there. Like he's actually... He's, he's a very intelligent man. He's a very skilled. He has a lot of knowledge. And okay, he, that's nice. You know, that's he, nice of you. Yeah. And he's, he's, he's. But if he makes a lot of assumptions and he jumps to conclusions and he attacks people. And he, instead he, of looking at his own shit, he fucking points the finger at everybody else. I, I, I'd say his, his shadow side is, can, can come out pretty strong, just like most people. Yes. <laughs> We all have it. Um, I think. I think he's very controlling. I just think he's been through a lot. I mean, but like everybody, I mean, I don't know. Some people have been through more than others, and they have a lot more awareness. Like he's he's definitely uh, far more aware than the majority of people. Like if you met him and you really talked to him, he's he he is. I mean, awareness in a sense of understanding the global picture. Uh, more about nature, outdoors, living outdoors, um, some higher spiritual matters that most people don't understand or don't know about. So, I mean, he, you know, outside of the shadow, he's, he's quite an impressive person. I mean, but he's in we the shadow fell out, a lot. Well, the problem is like, if you're in the front lines a lot, you get bashed a lot at some point. So you're at some point you have, you've, you've had too much. And if you don't have true healing, then you're always in a state of kind of like fight or flight. You're always in a state of fuck. Here's another idiot that I got to deal with. Not necessarily you, but I'm just saying in a life. And so he seems to be kind of like a, by his, by the nature of his, I think purpose, he's, he's a catalyst for change wherever he goes. Okay. And he's like you, I mean, he's got superpowers, but you know, superpowers, if they're not balanced on a team, they tend to have a hard time with the normal public, right? So his are out. I mean, the thing where we went a bit off when I was reading that is going like, he can call me on stuff. Fine. That's not the reason I'm going to stop seeing someone. He did not, in my opinion, acknowledge or recognize my work as being important. And that for it, basically anyone is, is going to get you tossed. Right, like, I mean, we're working on planetary guardians. The basis of planetary guardians is the inflow matrix, the operating system, the time translator, all of these tools. And and at some point he just said, oh, they're fucking nothing. Like, you know, why, you know, they're irrelevant. And in a manner that was just like, what the, you know, have you spent any time with me? I, you know, I'm not wasting my time here. This is something specific that has relevancy. And if you don't have relevancy with it, I don't have time to discuss with you anymore because, you know, I know what I have and I want to have people who recognize, you know, he's got gifts. I got gifts, but if you don't recognize my gifts and you just dismiss them. Yeah. I, I you know, if, if you're at my level, if you're, if we're interacting at a sort of like global consciousness transformation species level, and you have a, you know, this, and you have a purpose, don't dismiss another wizard's work. Like it's just that there's, there's so much disrespect to that. And 
that's what I find sometimes these younger guys, really intelligent, really, fu- you know, they're, they're fu- so ahead of the pack, but the, you know, they got a problem with authority. Is he got- younger? How old is he? Uh, I'm not sure. Late thirties. Younger 30s. than you. Yeah. He's younger than me. I mean, the thing, that- I don't know, like he's in his 40s. Like the thing is he's, you know, with the people who have, let's say a piece of the puzzle and he definitely has a piece of the puzzle. Okay. Um, you know, you're a visionary in your own right. You've got your own work in your own right. So a lot of times we don't have the time to look at someone else's piece of the puzzle. And so, but again, like nowadays it's integration. It's integration of the various pieces. We have to figure out how to link our gifts together. We have to figure out how to build this new system in a sense. And so if I'm here, if, if I've got an operating system, <laughs> you know, and you don't, or if I have a bunch of tools and you don't, and you have no idea actually what I'm talking about, you're, you're a student. You know, you're somebody who, who's, who's ignorant in the old paradigm, who's just going to bubble around in there. And if you have no methodology to actually transform your, your consciousness, you know, good luck, man. I mean, you're, <laughs> good luck. I mean, people have to do the inner work on themselves. Yeah, I just don't like how he just attacks, you know. He, he's mad because I've ignored him for years. Now. Like, I, when I stopped with him, I said, that's it forever. I'm not fucking talking to you again. That's it. And if, and if I do that, you know, I, I kind of mean it. And then... Yeah, I so think, now he's talking to me. Well, he's, yeah, he's trying to, like, I mean if he actually made a real effort and came to me in kindness and came to me with a little humility and said, Hey man, like, let's heal this. I'd heal it. But if you come to me with judgment and coming with the same attitude you had before, you know, go fuck yourself. You know, I've, I've gone through too much. I mean, I have something, you know, I'm not looking to go partner or ally with anyone anymore who, who it doesn't have interest or, you know, is doing their thing, do your fucking thing, man. But you know, we're building a network over here. We're building you know, 144,000 people coming together to be those planetary guardians. And, you know, if you got your own plan, go ahead. But, you know, good luck, man. You know, I mean, I spent. I guess. Yeah, like, I appreciate you trying to, like, see the good, the good in him and then kind of trying to, like, stand up for him in a little, in a way. Well, I'm still loyal to, I mean, it's, it's not like I don't. If I partner with someone or I believe in someone deep down, I'm going to believe in that person for the rest of their life. Whether, you know, what I've seen is shadow elements come together. I mean, powerful people come together and egos start to, you know, if, if you are hurt and anytime you get close to someone, you break it apart and that's your pattern. It doesn't matter how great you are. It doesn't matter how, you know, whoever you are, you're, you're, you you have to deal with your sh- shadow. I mean, most of my work in the last five, 10 years is shadow work, like especially the last four years, right? Like just, and you're the freaking mistress. You're the one who helps me. Because <laughs> you're yeah, uh, I just, indomitable. I just, so yeah, I just, I just think it's funny that, you know, he can call some, he's going to call somebody a drug addict. So when like, so if you have if you drink some alcohol like once a week are you an alcoholic then you know but i really liked what you said about handling these types of people with grace and so that's what i need to work on not hammering people because like as soon as i see someone being a fucking idiot i just like hammer them and i need to learn how to take them down easy with grace right well i mean they could be a good foot soldier. They could be a good ally. They could, they could, everyone has value. And if you see the good in someone, if you see the gift and people are attracted to you and, and they're, they may be attracted physically at some, at the beginning, but at some point you're a friend, right? You just have to have that transition into friend and then sort of like transition into posse transition into, you know, we need to build teams and movements and, and have people work together. Now I got tons of work for them to do. You know, they're all fucking having their hedonistic lifestyle, doing what the fuck they're doing while the rest of the world is falling apart. So, and you're the bridge. Are you talking about me? Well, I don't, I don't want to judge your, I have no idea what you're doing. I I'm mean, pretty much living what you, you just said, my hedonistic lifestyle. <laughs> well, I, I, I don't want to, I want to. I'm sure I'm doing something though. 
Well, you, I mean, you do things energetically. You do things just with your yeah. presence. So totally. if, if you're Look in at the this meet- art. Huh? Look at this art. Oh, wow. What time is it there in Tulum? Two hours ahead of you. Oh, okay. Look at this art. You know, there's a lot of art here in Tulum. Uh-huh. Looks, cool, hey? Yeah, it looks really nice. Looks like a festival. Tulum is a one big fucking festival. Like, really? It's fucking amazing here. Honestly, it's like fucking beautiful. Look at this house. It's a cool little red little house. That This is where people stay. That, you you dip your feet in that. Oh. And, uh, no, I, like, I'm in this, like, this is all sand. Uh, the beach is over there and like music is playing and there's art and it's just like, you know? Pretty nice, pretty nice. I'm sure some very nice people, a lot of fun. <laughs> but yeah, okay. So basically though, moral of the story is I have to not hammer people, right? I need to no, control my trigger finger of just wanting to fucking go. I think you need to yeah. practice and I think you need to um, look at every opportunity that comes your way now as practice. And not, okay. and so it's 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 like you're practicing patience, you're practicing questioning, you're, okay. you're pra- practicing, you know, how do you question them to get them into the point where, oh wow, like she just boxed me in a corner here, and just like learn to debate. You know, learn to you know you got a lot of ammo in there, and and also learn to bring people in, like like if you're. <laughs> You know, it's it's like the art of online warfare, basically. You know, you've got, you know, a lot of people on your feed. Between you and Camille, I mean, Camille's doing it in her own way. She's, see, Camille's, follow her lead. Like, watch what she does. She's very, uh, she asks good questions. She doesn't sort of uh, disassociate. She doesn't... Uh, for me, she she answers with reason, pops in a, a few websites or something, and you know uses politeness. But but I said you got to use humor more. Um, but the, between the two of you, like it's just like I think we need to start working as packs. I can't hear you. Your your microphone is off. Oh, between the two of us, who? You and Camille. Okay. And you know whoever else is out there, you know like. I think that, you know, if you have four or five people and they're all very smart and they're all coming in with the right sort of uh, perspective, one person alone has a hard time, but, you know, they have their own teams, right? But see, as soon as it gets to name calling, that's when you sort of like everyone loses it. Or that's, to me, if anyone, let's say, if I'm having a debate or an argument and someone calls me any name at all, that's like dropping the gauntlet. Like that's like okay but he called me a drug addict first okay well that that's he dropped the gauntlet and and then i would just focus on that and then make have him retract it go through a process where he realizes wow i, I can't call her that because she isn't that and she knows it and she's she's just given me the feedback that you know and you can do that because deep down, my guess is he's very attracted to you. He's irritated because you're not friendly to him and you're actually friendly to me. And that's like the day, you know, that's like guy's jealousy and envy. I mean, it's at basis of most things, right? It's uh... Well, how can I be friendly to him when he's pretty much opened the whole conversation with me being a drug addict? Well, I'm not saying that you should be. I'm saying like that's his own loss. I mean, he's not taking... You know, he's, he's being very attacking, and so he's losing rapport immediately. Yeah, I think you should look, I think before you start calling other people drug addicts and other names, you should like look at your own shit and fucking focus on your own things that are going on, you know? Like, fix your own issues first. Yeah, like, don't, don't come in shooting into the bar and expect that people want to sit there and have a drink with you. And if you and if you just want to attack them, they're going to tell you to fuck off. 
And if that's fine, but I mean, to, unless you want them to be, you know, closer or, or an ally or something, right? I mean, if he actually wants me to connect with him, obviously the way he's trying ain't working. You know? Does he want you to connect with him? Is that what he wants? Well, we Probably. have lot, we have a lot to gain. If, if him and I actually really worked well together, we would both have a lot to gain. He's, you know, again, he's an impressive person. I got a few things that I can do. Um, you know, we're, we're both working at a high level without a lot of infrastructure support. <laughs> My drink fits right in here. There you go. While you're gone, I got a lot of work done I would never have done if I went down there. Never. I would never, never. That's good. Well, I'm going to be back in about 10 days. So let's try to keep these uh, Zoom meetings going. <laughs> Are you going to be posting, start posting things on the website? Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll load this up. I mean, I'm out, I'm off my face. It, this whole last week's been really quiet because I was banned from Facebook. Um, yeah, I'm banned from, I'm banned from Facebook right now for another three or four days. Oh, you too. <laughs> yeah, I had, I got a seven day ban. Seeing what, what was yours for? It, about COVID. And I didn't even say anything bad. I just said that this whole thing was a lie and you know, I just basically, I said what it is yeah. in this group, in this other secret group. And I don't know, somebody reported it and I didn't even say anything. I didn't even say anything bad, you know? Yeah. I mean, it's, it's good. It's bad. It's really I'll send you a screenshot of what I said. It's this facts. Yeah. I don't even know why they, it doesn't even say why so it goes against their community standards. Hey, Chinoa has bought yeah. two really nice big speakers that are mobile that have 16 hours of, of uh, shelf life just on their own okay. and on the beach in a, in a, in they're enough. I want to get two more, but just by themselves, we could have an outside party anywhere. Let's do it. Yeah. I think okay, we could um, have a special day for you to uh, celebrate your arrival. Thank and, you. Uh, we should have some party out somewhere. Or... At Wreck Beach or somewhere or. Yeah. Um, okay. Well, yeah, I, I got, uh, yeah, I'm going to be back in about 10 days. So prepare for my arrival and I will only be there for about two weeks. Okay. And then I'm leaving again. You, do you need a place to stay or you're, you're okay? I'll be at Dustin's probably. Okay. And he's picking you up at the airport and all that, I'm sure. Yes. He must have missed you yeah poor guy like three months four months four or five months did you miss him yeah i miss him yeah it'll be good to see him i'm like i'm still not sure if like you know but if anyone's gonna put up with me like this i mean it's pretty good right <laughs> put up with me just piecing out for four months letting well, me do whatever the fuck i want woman's gotta do with a woman well you're gonna do it anyway so that's so yeah i guess he has no choice yeah <laughs> that's but i think like i don't know if anyone's gonna let me give me this much freedom as much as he does well i think whoever you end up with won't and you'll want and you probably will like that he'll have some Same. psycho side like you where he'll go no fucking way man that's not happening and you'll go oh, okay and I'm going to like it? Yeah. What? So you're saying Dustin, the fact that he lets me, gives me all this freedom is not a good thing? Well, it's just the way you've spoken about him. You've already made up your mind. So it doesn't matter. I don't know if I've fully made up my mind. Like, I feel like I'm still juggling decisions, but. Well, I mean, to me, to me if people, you seem to go along with people who just go along anyway so if, as long as they don't rock the ship you'll you'll go far with them because you, you put up with far worse than that you're saying i'm gonna go with for somebody that doesn't give me as much freedom well i think that you 
I think your Bulg I said this, your Bulgarian nature is you sort of like emotional conflict and uh, you feed off it and you, it's part of your life. And so if you don't have it, it's kind of missing. Right. You kind of like, you know, it's just like you need to go kill some lion every once in a while or <laughs> slap Captain Sweet because he doesn't get the tech right away. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, but now you know, right? Well, I don't. Yeah, I, I like. I don't know how to get into that screen. Honestly, I've never fucking seen that screen before. You don't know how to go into just onto Zoom, click my name, and then call me. No, I. I don't even know where your name is. I don't even know where to. I'll find that. But like, go into okay. Zoom. What do you mean into Zoom? There is no in, open the screen. Zoom app and the program on your computer. Yeah. And click my name and call me. I, I don't open my app and see your name anywhere. Like, I don't have an yes, app. You do. This, is my, this is my laptop. I don't no, have... on the computer. You open the Zoom program on your computer, and my name is there. Okay. Okay. So just next time, instead of sending me these stupid links, just call me. Yeah, I, I got that. And it would be actually nicer if you just called me and I was doing whatever I'm doing, and then I can answer, you know? Yeah, I, I get it. I get it. And then it'll be more interesting. So I'm just doing something, whatever, you know? Yeah, I get it. I mean, it's interesting. So just try that. Okay, we'll just try that out. Okay. If I see a call coming in, I'm going to probably answer it. But like, if you send me a link, then I have to click it and prepare myself and like, you know, and then it takes more effort. Oh, yeah, it's almost two more button pushes. That's a lot. So I get it. Just try this, please. Okay. Do you want to tell me one more time? You want to beat me one more? No, I'm thing? sorry. You're right. You're right. You're yeah. sorry. I'm sorry. I take it back. But it's just like, I feel like we've had this talk before and you never listen. Anyways, I should go because I feel like I'm people are pissed off at me right now because I'm disappeared for like an hour. It's good to have that type of fame. I can disappear for a fucking it's just, year and they don't even notice. It's one person really is probably wondering where I am. So it's not really that much fame, but. Okay. Okay. But I love fucking Tulum. I love Mexico. I will be back here. I'm sad to leave, but I think it's time for a European adventure now. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to, I'm preparing, I'm wrapping things up here in Tulum and then gearing up to fly to Vancouver for two weeks and then go to Europe for four months. Wow. It's time to do the Europe tour. Wow. It's time to bring some of the energy vibrations to Europe. Okay. Well, yeah. we'll, we'll be there with you weekly now. So uh, perfect. Let's do it. Let's just like keep me on schedule. Okay. Okay. Hold, hold me to it. Okay. All right. See you next week. Love you. Love you.